Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Terry with Everything Homestead. Today is chimney cleaning day, and there's my chimney, and it's kind of tall. Let's get at it. Now, a traditional way of cleaning a chimney is you go up on top of the roof, you take the rain cap off, and you run your brushes down, knock down all the soot that's inside the pipe, falls out, and you clean it out at the bottom. But fortunately, I designed this so it comes out of the my basement wall right here and there's a clean out right here so I can I can access from the bottom and I just run my brushes up from the bottom so I don't have to get way up there and risk my life to clean my chimney so this is going to be a much easier way to do this if you ever have a chance to install your own chimney for your wood stove I highly recommend using this option and you'll see how easy it is now one of the uh, struggles I had I installed this myself which I also don't recommend because when it comes to heights, let's see, right about there's where I start to get afraid of heights. And so I had a heck of a challenge to stay safe and securely install this thing. But as you can see, I've got a roof overhang right there to contend with. I've got the roof overhang up there to contend with. Uh, the old hillbilly way of doing it was to just cut a notch out of the roof there, a notch out of the roof there and just have a straight pipe. But Fortunately, the vendor I was working with who had these pipes for me to purchase told me about these offsets. If I could just get my measurements down right, I could put these off offsets in and stay within code with distance to combustible materials. You can see up to the top there, I just uh, did a little offset and I was able to just continue up above the roof and then when it comes to the roof you just got to follow your local codes as far as how high you got to go and mine is at that height but this chimney here is from what I can remember approximately 28 feet tall and I can stand on the ground with a pair of binoculars and look at that rain cap and make sure it's not occluded from soot or nothing and if it was getting to be an issue I would have to get up on the roof and clean that part but most of this I can just get from down here. So to do this, I've got these fiberglass rods and I've got this bristle brush that I push up through from the bottom. These fiberglass rods come in different diameters. This particular one is a 7 16 inch thick, which is a little bit thicker because I wanted it a little bit stronger because I got such a long ways to push. And with those uh, offsets in my chimney, I have a little bit of extra resistance. I wanted to make sure these are strong enough to get up through there. So these are five foot rods and then they, they connect to each other. They thread onto each other. You can see here, there's some threads on there and you have to keep them clean. So I've got a rag in my pocket. So I will take and clean these off because it's really important that you don't booger up these threads when you do this because the worst thing can happen is to have one of these get stuck up in this thing and you can't get it apart. Keeping these cleans is very important. And you can see in the, here's the other end that it threads into. So I'll do one rod at a time, push it up there, go back and forth, scrub it really clean. And when I get up to a point, I can swing in the next rod, I'll thread it in and continue on. So I've got this cover plate right here, access port here. I'm gonna take the screw out, which is holding it in place with this little metal part. Slide this out. And you can see some of the soot that's accumulated right here. I'm just gonna dump it on the ground because there's gonna be a pile to scoop up later anyway. Okay, so I'm gonna make sure that this is firmly attached because this does thread onto this rod as well. Get this going. And one tip that I have, don't wear your Sunday best to do this activity. You ever see those old pictures of chimney sweeps? that you picture in your mind, 
you're going to look like one of them most likely when this is all said and done. So, just take it. Now, it's been quite a while since I've cleaned this chimney. It's kind of embarrassing to say, but so I expect a little bit more to come out of here than normal. But So here's that threaded portion here. To get the next rod on, I'm gonna to have to push it up to about this level. Gonna make sure those threads are clean. Check the threads of this one too before I start. They're nice and clean. in I'm gonna thread this on I want it to be all the way on I don't want it on so tight I won't be able to get it apart though so there it's bottomed out and I can see on the threads it's on there plenty so we will continue on Okay, so this is the last rod I have. I expect it to hit the rain cap up top. Usually I can see a little bit of soot come out of the top too. And so uh, I should come to an abrupt stop here. Then once I get up there, brush it back and forth a few times, then it's just a matter of bringing it all back out, disassembling one piece at a time and it's clean. There it is, the soot's coming down at me from up above. So I'm at the top right there. Just go back and forth a few times. And I'm gonna start coming out. Now when I disassemble this, it is absolutely crucial to have one hand on the next piece up and make sure that when I'm loosening the piece that I'm not turning the one above it because if I sit here below and loosen it, it might be unthreading three pieces up and that would be an absolute disaster if that happened. It's crucial at this point to make sure you're only disassembling the pieces in front of you. So I have one hand up on the next piece while I'm turning this piece off. The biggest reason why you need to clean out your chimney uh, periodically is because the creosote buildup inside the chimney can catch on fire. 
That's one of the reasons why people's houses burn down from the use of wood stoves is because they neglect that, uh, especially if they burn uh, the wet wood all the time. If they don't keep it clean, that creosote will heat up and will ignite. It's just like lining your inside of your chimney with charcoal, just waiting for it to happen. Uh, aside from that, the buildup of the creosote and all that soot inside there restricts the air flow movement, which reduces the updraft that your uh, wood stove needs to keep a good fire going. Last piece, should have the brush on this one. There we have it. Now I'm gonna go inside and clean the pipe from the wood stove where it elbows out to go out this wall. That's pretty self-explanatory. I'm not gonna show you that part. Let me show you how much came out. Okay, like I said, it's kind of embarrassing how long it's been since I've cleaned this out. I should have done it a lot sooner. It's been a little bit over a year, actually. But if you focus on not burning wet wood, it helps a lot. And then I also take uh, maybe once a week, I'll let the wood stove burn really hot for at least 30 minutes and that helps uh, break everything down into the chimney. And uh, so if you look on the ground here, the dark, dark black stuff is the soot that came out, which overall, I mean, that's like very, very little. It, when it comes out, uh, it's all powdery coming out. And there's a little bit over here, I guess, too, but it looks like it's an awful mess and it is a mess. I mean, I gotta wash the wall off here too and got it all over me. But basically it's just powder. If you uh, make sure your wood doesn't have too much moisture and take care of things like you should. Make sure you look at my other videos regarding the wood stove setup and making kindling and uh, door gaskets, uh, replacements and all those things at the links on the side here. Please like and subscribe. Catch you later.